Good afternoon, everyone. It's Wynn Brown at Haywood Healthcare. It is Friday, January 21st. Uh, I have our weekly update to share with staff and the community. I hope everybody is doing well and staying safe. It is definitely a very challenging time across the health system uh, with some of the highest uh, hospital rate, hospitalization rates and positivity rates we've seen throughout the whole course of the pandemic. Uh, we've tested 142,000 specimens since the beginning. Our uh, overall testing positive rate is at 8.6% throughout the pandemic. Uh, twice the state average, just under 4%. Our seven-day positive rate is 36%, which is just uh, crazy. I know that you're hearing on the news that we've peaked. We have not peaked in Central Mass yet. Uh, maybe the cities have, but we have not, and we are seeing some of our highest positivity rates, our highest hospitalization rates, and just um, ask everybody to do what they can to stay safe. Um, we are at, at, at 36 percent. That means at 218 per 100,000 um, in, our, in our testing. We have 43 inpatients right now in the Haywood Healthcare system. Uh, we peaked at 48 earlier this week, which was our, was our, was our high. Uh, and so um, definitely huge stress on our staff. Uh, staffing is a challenge. Um, we're burning through our PPE. We haven't talked about PPE for a long time, but just a couple little data points. Um, our N95 masks, um, we go through 650 a day or almost 20,000 a month. And our isolation gowns, we burn through 1,000 a day or 30,000 a month. So just to give you a sense of our supply chain work that we are doing to make sure that we have enough uh, work in our, our supply chain, uh, led by uh, Shane and Matt are doing a fantastic job. We have some shortages on things, but they are chasing everything down they can. Uh, email went out to all staff just a little bit earlier today that um, following up on our vaccine uh, requirement for all staff, uh, that the booster has now become mandated for staff as well. We need all staff boosted by March 4. Um, so there's some information here. You can, um, uh, if you already have your booster done, you just need to vaccine, vaccine, fax proof uh, to our uh, employee health at employeehealth at haywood.org. And if you need a Booster, please go to a local pharmacy or then email also employee health and get a time to come in and get that done uh, on one of our campuses. Uh, just of note, we've also discharged over 300 COVID positive patients over the course of the pandemic. There's some uh, graphs embedded here with our community prevalence so you can see it uh, and you can see the, still the upward trend, maybe a smidge of leveling uh, at the seven day average positive uh, rate so we'll see how we're doing on that um, next week um, just a call to action uh, we are at a critically low point for our blood supply uh, which really not necessarily used as much in surgery but as when we have trauma that arrives in our er or someone's having some internal bleeding um, so we really need uh, anybody who can get to worcester to the red cross um, to to donate blood our blood comes from the red cross we don't do blood donations on our campus and the red cross doesn't have enough staff uh, to do one in our region. So please consider doing that. Um, also, uh, the free testing kits uh, made possible through the federal government um, are available now and you can go online um, at covidtest.gov. I actually did it a couple days ago and actually the website was quick and easy and, and worked very well. So I encourage everybody to do that. Just a couple of announcements on a, on a happy note, Mike Abatello, who's our, our chief financial officer, uh, was just certified and became a fellow of the American College of Healthcare Executives, uh, earning his FACHE credit, his fellow for his uh, for being a leader in healthcare. I have that same designation. Uh, a lot of work in, that goes into studying and preparing for that, so congratulations, Mike. And on a very sad note, um, our former colleague, Andy Patterson, who led our medical group for a number of years, passed away unexpectedly. Um, just a good friend to all uh, and a partner in, in, in leading our organization. Uh, the information just came out on his calling hours will be uh, next Wednesday the 26th from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. followed uh, by a, uh, a mass um, at St. Joseph Parish in uh, Belmont, New Hampshire. So you can go online uh, and pull up that obituary as well and there's, a, there's actually a, a link here. So uh, very, very uh, tragic uh, loss for his family uh, and for all of us who knew him and knew him well. Um, so just that information is there for everyone. I'm on a switching to a more upbeat um, announcement. Um, Jillian Hillman, who all of you know, uh, has been doing a lot around employee wellness for us and on the Presidential Advisory Committee, um, has accepted a part-time role in addition to her work in cardiology to be our employee wellness coordinator. So 
Um, you'll be seeing some more information coming out from her on keeping us well throughout the, the winter. And then uh, we're going to be begin providing COVID testing at our Miller's River practice in Orange uh, coming up starting on Monday. It is by appointment only. Um, and central scheduling for that is provided through the Damon testing site at 630-6186. So you need an appointment, uh, but it's a former bank branch, so you can actually drive through, do your swab, and, and put it back in. So we're pretty excited to use that. And just know that um, we have an incredibly short staff in our cafeteria uh, in the Haywood campus uh, this weekend, and so we will not be open, the line will not be open, but the refrigerators uh, will be um, supplied with sandwiches and salads for staff to take one meal per shift. I appreciate that. So it's just on the, on the, the 22nd and the 23rd from 5 to 6.30. I think it'll be open earlier in the day, but uh, later in the day it won't be available. Uh, some updated information on uh, our infection uh, prevention contacts for staff. Uh, please stay safe over the weekend. Thank you to all our staff who are coming in and working and for our leadership team who works seven days a week. Uh, on all our uh, Zoom calls three days, three times a day to make sure that we can keep Haywood uh, moving forward and caring for our community. Thank you all. Have a great weekend.